It's quite natural to walk into an art museum, see a Mark Rothko painting, and think, did I walk into the wrong building? Did the museum request a different painting and accidentally get this one? Something doesn't seem right. So you figure an error has been made somewhere. You just don't know where. I can't help you with that, but I can help you with detecting how an error might have happened when you were adding up numbers. It's a trick I learned in one of my accounting classes. Why do I even bring this up? with all the software we have out there today that add up numbers automatically. Well, I can say that in my accounting job that even with programs like Excel and QuickBooks that every now and then a total I see in Excel is not the same as what I see on the statement. Easy to type in numbers wrong in Excel when you're typing so darn many of them into the system. And it can be a really ugly infuriating thing to deal with and you get to the point where you suspect a gremlin or a hobgoblin is messing with the numbers in your system somehow. Now on to the error detection trick. If you are expecting a certain total when tallying up numbers but you get a different total, you can subtract the total you get from the total that you know to be actual and if that number is divisible by 9 then that's a good indication two of the digits of a number were switched somewhere. This is known as a transpose error, or transposition error. The trick only works if you make just the transposition error and no other errors, and you make the error only once. But the trick may still come in handy. In our example here, we added up these six numbers incorrectly by switching the 2 and the 6 and the very last number to be summed. That's why we got 40,907 as our answer instead of 40,547. We were off by 360, which is divisible by 9. But how do we know that making a transposition error will always cause our answer to be off by something that's divisible by 9. We'll start simple and pretend that we only have a two-digit number. Here we see the number 26 sums up to 26. We'll pretend we are incredibly stupid and put down that 26 sums to its transpose of 62. That difference turns out to be 36. But we'll look at it another way. If you take 26 and add 9 to it, the digit on the left goes up 1, and the digit on the right goes down 1. So you get 35. Add 9 again. The digit on the left goes up 1 again, and the digit on the right goes down 1 again. You get 44. Add 9 once more. You get 53. Finally, add 9 a fourth time, and you get 62. Adding 9 four times to 26 gives you 62. So the difference between 26 and 62 is divisible by 9. The properties of adding by 9 in a base 10 number system like ours is the entire reason why an error being divisible by 9 is able to detect if an inadvertent transposition of digits occurred. You can always get from a number to its larger transpose by adding 9 repeatedly. Now we'll move on to something slightly more complicated. Still summing up only one number, but it has more than two digits in it an arbitrary number of digits. If you have a number larger than two digits and transpose two neighboring digits anywhere within the number, you will get a similar situation to the two-digit case, except it will be some power of 10 times a number divisible by 9. That number will be divisible by 9 as well. 
36 is divisible by 9, so is 36 times 10, so is 36 times 1,000, etc. The power of 10 being involved in the calculation here comes from our base 10 number system using powers of 10 as place value holders for digit position. When the digits that are transposed are not the two rightmost digits of a number, the power of 10 comes into play. Finally, we're ready for the general case where the number with the transposition error has an arbitrary number of digits, and we're adding this number to as many other numbers as we'd like, where each number can have any number of digits we'd like. If you're adding many numbers instead of just one number, and the only mistake you make is transposing neighboring digits in one of the numbers, the other numbers will still add up correctly, and your answer will only be off by the difference between the incorrect number and its transpose. And we've already seen that that difference is divisible by 9. That's a pretty full explanation of why this accounting trick works, and I hope it will satisfy most people. Even after this explanation, you still may not fully understand why the divide by 9 trick works to detect a transpose error. Hopefully you at least understand the basic form of the argument even if you don't understand all of the details. Sort of like some of Picasso's cubist paintings give you a broken depiction of something, but you still may be able to see its general form. I at least hope you're not as confused as you would be on first seeing a Mark Rothko work.